Ford has cancelled sedan production in the US, leaving the iconic Mustang as the only car wearing the blue oval badge. Meanwhile, Chevrolet is selling the last edition of the Camaro, and Dodge has already discontinued the Charger and Challenger, making the Mustang as the lone surviving muscle car. This situation cast doubt on the Mustang's future, but Ford dispelled the uncertainty by launching the seventh generation this year. The pony car will remain on the road for a few more seasons before its fate is reconsidered. An electric version is on the horizon, but that conversation is for post-2025. Ford still has unfinished business with the current Mustang, and the upcoming version brings a few updates. Ford saved the best for the second year of the new generation with the debut of the Mustang GTD, surprisingly, this configuration does not carry the Shelby badge. The GTD features a 5.2-liter supercharged V8 engine, delivering a jaw-dropping 800 horsepower, allowing it to reach 190 miles per hour. Paired with an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transaxle, the 2025 Mustang GTD also includes pushrod rear suspension and four-corner spool valve suspension dampers with hydraulic actuation. Not too many people will be lucky to drive it, having in mind its $300,000 price tag and production limited to 2,000 units. Ford updated the lineup of its iconic pony car. The new generation of Mustang now features a few models based on the premium and GT packages, with dark horse models are occupying top tiers. The introduction of the GTD means no return for legendary editions like the Boss, Bullet, Shelby, or SVT Cobra. The fastback roof style is available with six trims, while you can also select a convertible, but only with the EcoBoost, Premium, and GT Premium packages. The EcoBoost is using a 2.3-liter turbo 4 engine. This is something that doesn't fit the best with a muscle car. Although the 4-banger is quite potent, such a vehicle needs a beast with more cylinders under the hood. The V8, favored by enthusiasts, powers the GT models with 486 horsepower and 418 pound-feet of torque, achieving 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.2 seconds. Manual gearbox is standard and we hope Ford is not going to cut it out. You can still opt for an automatic transmission. Engineers will squeeze 500 ponies from a 5.0-liter V8 engine for the Dark Horse editions. Active exhaust, high-performance braking system and additional oil coolers boost the performance. This package also comes with unique 19-inch wheels, special interior and exterior badging, and a premium 12-speaker bang and a Lufsen sound system. The Mustang EV is already in production, though it isn't a pony car. However, don't get too comfortable yet, since the company has plans to electrify the Mustang. Well, that is a general plan, but it is not going as it was expected, not only for Ford, but also other companies. The cost of development and production is high, which also makes the price tag of EVs pretty hefty, and increases maintenance costs as well. On the other hand, Stellantis already announced the new Dodge EV muscle car. It is just a concept, but already attracting the attention. Love it or hate it, we can't ignore the facts. Then, a few weeks ago, Car and Driver featured a full page ad hinting at a potential Pontiac return. We did research and it turns out that even hardcore fans seem indifferent, expecting any new Firebird or GTO to be electric. With main rivals thinking this way, Ford must be aware of the future. The 2025 Mustang won't get an electric version, but such a vehicle is definitely in the cards for the future. Sales figures have plummeted, with fewer than 50,000 units sold both in 2022 and 2023 respectively. These are the worst years in the market in Mustang's history. The slump is happening for a quite while. Since 2008, only twice has Ford sold over 100,000 new Mustangs in a year, coinciding with the latest generation's arrival and the appeal of new GT models. The archrival is out of the game, once again. Farewell edition is Camaro's final run. Well, GM made a comeback in 2009, after a seven-year break. As you can see from Mustang's sales example, it was a wrong timing when the market for muscle cars started to collapse. Another big rival was Dodge. The badge now dropped to only two models, and both pony cars, Charger and Challenger, are not among these anymore. However, the company announced an electric muscle car, and we'll see how this is going to be accepted. Get used to it when speaking of Mustang, it will be an electric vehicle one day. The transformation started and there is no return from this point. Maki is just the first model. The legacy is going to continue in the electric automotive world. <laughs>